It's easy to dream, to sit at your desk and think about the roads you would ride, the remote places you'd visit, and the sights you'd see. It's another thing to take action, to book the flight, to rent the motorcycle, to go from planning routes on Google Maps to being on the actual road without street signs or cell service. A lot of people have big ideas of traveling, seeing the world, experiencing things outside of their normal routine. But years pass before realizing how consumed they've been with their day-to-day -day patterns. But when you go through with the idea, even if the journey is difficult, if you get the flat tire, if you break your camera, if you nearly drop your bike during a water crossing, when you look back, there will always be a feeling of positive nostalgia. Knowing that you put one foot in front of the other and pursued something from start to finish. In French, there's a phrase. Instead of saying start the car, they say mettre le contact, which translates literally to make the contact. It's step zero. Even before turning the key, you have to touch metal to metal. Before you can fire the starter, disengage the clutch, shift to first gear, twist the throttle, and begin rolling, you need to make the contact. If you have an idea and you think about all of the planning and preparation required, and all the things that could go wrong, you'll stop yourself before you even get started. It's too daunting to think about an aggregate, and you'll end up postponing it month after month until the opportunity is passed. The key is to take step zero. When I first became interested in motorcycles, it seemed like a lot to learn how to ride, get my license, find a suitable bike, purchase the bike, and then finally be able to ride. But I started out by just setting the goal of getting my license. And my step zero was to sign up for the MSF basic rider course. So I signed up. I didn't worry about what would come next. I even told myself that if I wasn't excited during the process of taking the course, I didn't have to buy a bike or ever try to ride a bike again after I had my license. But of course I fell in love with it, became addicted to it. And five years later I'm now capable of flying somewhere, renting a bike I've never ridden before from a person that I've never met, and exploring remote roads I've never traveled. And taking Step Zero has made all the difference. When it comes to planning my motorcycle adventures, I take the same approach. I don't try to plan the entire thing at once. Once I have a destination in mind, I commit to it with Step Zero. Whether it's clearing my calendar for specific dates, booking a flight, or choosing a final destination. The details, such as what I need to pack, where I'm gonna sleep, what roads I wanna ride along the journey, those details all work themselves out along the way. Think of all the years passed by in which you said to yourself, I'll do it tomorrow, and how the gods have again and again granted you periods of grace of which you have not availed yourself. It is time to realize that you are a member of the universe, that you were born of nature itself, and to know that a limit has been set to your time. Use every moment wisely to perceive your inner brilliance, which will be gone and never more within your reach. Marcus Aurelius